Hey there, interior designer. My name is Hugo with Just Digital. And in this little video, I'm gonna give you a very simple digital marketing blueprint that you can use right away to start attracting more of your ideal clients. And I'm also gonna show you what we're doing for an existing client of ours that allowed her to build a really successful seven-figure design firm using some of the strategies that I'm gonna share with you today. So here are a couple of things that I think you should start with when it comes to marketing for interior designers. There's really 10 different areas uh, of business or of marketing that you can focus on. Um, and depending on where your firm is at, you might already have some of these elements in place. Uh, but let's start from the top. You need a solid foundation. What that means is you need to identify your ideal clients. You need to have the right strategy. You need to have the right pricing strategy, the right business model to be able to drive growth. And I'll show you what this specific client is doing uh, to get her on the right track. But you need you need the right strategy and then you need a brand. Uh, some of these are given. You might already have a website, but is your website converting? And it's a good sort of methodology to go from start to finish and just see how am I doing in each of these areas. Um, have a great website, have your online profiles. What that means is your Google My Business, your Yelp, any third party directories where you can list your design services, such as maybe your house profile if you're in residential. Uh, and then social media all of your accounts, your Instagram, your Facebook, do they all look consistent and cohesive? Uh, if you're in maybe commercial, your LinkedIn might be even more uh, important there as uh, people look at sort of your professional profiles. And then how are you uh, building your list of marketable contacts? That means your prospects, they might not hire you today, but they could hire you six months down the road, 12 months down the road. How are you converting more leads and prospects? How are you nurturing those leads and prospects so that ultimately they become a client? You're going to have a bucket of people who are like, I need to hire a, desi a designer in the next 30 days. And those might be the clients that you want to work with. But you also want a mechanism to always be bringing in new people into your world and uh, so that they can learn about your firm, your design services, and you need a way to capture that with lead magnets and offers. You need to have landing pages where those people convert, and you need to have nurture and automation sequences in place to be able to consistently deliver value. And I'll give you at the end a very, very simple process of what I think you should be doing uh, to bring all of this together. Um, but then, all your work should be, how do I get attention? Now there's two ways to get attention. What I mean by getting attention is you, people need to know that your design firm exists. How do you get in front of the ideal prospects? Well, there's really only two methods. One is organic and one is paid. On the organic side, you just need effort, time, and creativity. On the paid side, on the advertising side, you just pay Google or you pay Facebook for an ad placement. You can do traditional mail. Maybe you want to uh, be featured in Architectural Digest. Uh, you could also do that, right? So anything that you have to pay to advertise your design firm. And so depending on your skills, depending on the growth of your business, you'll focus on different areas of, of, uh, of this. So let's actually quickly look at one of our clients. She is a medical interior designer and she's ranking number one for that keyword. So when you type in medical interior designer, that is her niche. And so when I was talking about strategy, that's really important because she then dominates that specific keyword. And you can see her business here is Seymour Design. Depending on the market that she's advertising and the budget, we also run ads up here on the top. Now we're not, uh, it's not live right now because we paused paused it at certain times when they get too booked with too many leads. Um, and also we only market in specific markets right, uh, where her ideal clients are at. But she is ranking number one for medical interior design. So when you click on that, you go to her beautifully designed website, you have all of her projects. It's really simple and easy for you to know who they are and, and, and how they help. They have social proof here with a beautifully done uh, testimonial video. You have their projects here. People love, especially in, in the interior design uh, space, people love seeing the before and afters, um, especially for her where they're like really dreary uh, uh, doctor's offices and, you know, having a beautifully designed uh, medical space makes a big difference. Uh, now she focuses primarily on medical design and even further than that, she focuses on aesthetic practices. So a lot of plastic surgeons, uh, a lot of med spas has been her niche. That allows her to be the go-to expert in that specific niche. Um, and you don't have to pick this. I, as a matter of fact, I'd recommend not, but you do have to pick a specific niche or a specific angle, what makes you unique. 
so that you can attract the right type of clients. Uh, and she's consistently able to charge five and six figures for her projects and have a really, really streamlined process and a great great team. The other thing that I love that we do for her um, is she they consistently uh, run webinars. So you can go under here under her tab and you don't have to do webinars uh, per se, but you do need something to capture those leads. You can do uh, free guides and cheat sheets. Um, you can do a newsletter. So it's not going to show up here, but if you go to her website, there's a newsletter pop up that hits you right at right when you when you are trying to leave, um, and she gets newsletter subscribers. So every week she's sending, or every month they're sending out uh, newsletters highlighting projects, highlighting stuff that's happening in the industry, videos, blogs, podcasts, things like this, and so you'll see here she has a, a really great library of content so when i click register now it takes me to her landing page so that you can watch a presentation on demand and the presentation can be a simple video like the one i'm shooting and i'm literally just walking you through what we do for this client you could do the same thing where it's like you could talk about your your portfolio and your projects and say look we did this project for this client here's you know what we did here's how the design process that we thought about People want to know that part of you. And so if you build uh, a case study and then you ask that prospect for name, email, phone number, then you get a lead. That lead then is able to go through the process. They get email follow ups, but they also um, get to get a taste of who you are and how you can help. Um, and again, they have a lot of like, I mean, if you just look at these, these this is the previous doctor's off medical office versus what they put together. It's just such a great um a great thing and you know she put ads she did uh she does a lot of podcasts uh as well and so that is a really really cool way for her to consistently be adding new people to her list now notoriously medical medical doctors are you know they either work really really early or really really late and that's when they're looking at stuff because everything in between they're seeing patients they're doing surgeries they're just busy and so what uh on her website it's super optimized for conversion so that people whether it's at 11 p.m or 12 p.m or 12 a.m in the middle of the night they can go on the website and if they're thinking about remodeling their space they can consume a lot of great content uh, and go from there the other thing that um, they do really really well is consistently posting projects on social media now um, the point of this is you're consistently active. And so when somebody's trying to hire you, they're going to look at your portfolio page and then they're going to go look at your socials and see what you're doing there. And so having that consistently updated um, with beautiful pictures, uh, great uh, uh great posts um, even if you don't get as much engagement it is one piece of the buying process that people want to interact with right and so let's go back to so we what we did for her is we we did a custom logo design we did a fully custom website build we did marketing consulting to figure out how do we attract more of those ideal clients uh, i think i already said the website build uh, and so we've been working with them for eight nine years um and have seen them you know from their first iteration to now they take global projects um actually they take nationwide projects i think they've done a few international but mainly mainly national projects um and so they've been very very successful using some of these steps right they had the right strategy we helped them build a great brand build out a great website set them up with the lead magnets and the offers uh, based on their specific niche, built out the conversion pages and all the email automations that go out in HubSpot and a couple of the tools that we use. And then we figured out how do we get them to get more traffic? So that was organic um, SEO and then paid advertising using Google ads. And then they run ads to their different guides. Um, one more thing that I wanted to show, I don't think it's up here on the website anymore, but we have a bunch of guides that we also uh, run ads to, right? Um, and so those guides are uh, super helpful and we're co constantly posting articles for SEO purposes. Um, so here are her latest articles, but that way, um, again, people can come in, read one of these articles, sign up for the newsletter, or obviously they can get in touch. Um, let's go back to the marketing process.
Here's what I recommend you do. So what are the actionable things that you can do based on obviously what we've done for this client, but also your specific uh, firm? The number one thing is you need a high converting website and a powerful brand. You probably already invested on that. You, you know the power of, of branding and aesthetics. Um, but then next thing is you need to audit your SEO. There's a great tool that I like to use you can, um, called Ahrefs. So you can use ahrefs.com to look at your SEO. Also set up a Google Search Console whoops, Google Search Console, which tells you uh, what keywords you're ranking for. So do an audit using a tool like Ahrefs or there's another tool called SEMrush. If you have a marketing agency, just have them do an SEO audit and jump on a call with them and have them figure that out. But SEMrush and Ahrefs allow you to do SEO audits to see what keywords are you ranking for and then make sure you have Google Search Console installed so that you can, uh, Google will actually tell you, hey, here are the keywords that you're ranking for uh, and where you're uh, ranking in that position. So number one is do, uh, do an SEO audit. You can um, reach out to a firm like ours or you can uh, hire a digital marketing agency to do that audit. Optimize all of your social media profiles. Uh, make sure you have great cover images. Make sure you're posting consistently. If you do have any third-party profiles, and third-party profiles, I said that a couple of times, let's go in and type in interior designer near me, right, um, is one. So you have the local business, this is your Google business profile, but then you have house, right? And so on house, you might wanna show up here and you wanna, this is what I would consider sort of your third party profiles, anything that isn't controlled by you, but it's, it's either your Google business profile, your house profile, your Yelp, if you wanna be on Thumbtack or Angie's list, although, you know, it just depends on your strategy and where your clients are, are showing up. Um, it doesn't hurt to have profiles on all of these, but, um, you know, most of your traffic might come from advertising, SEO, and maybe your house profile as well as your Yelp. And then one thing really important is you need to constantly be producing content. Content is great uh, for obviously social, but it's great for SEO purposes, for email marketing. Um, and so pick one type of content that you can consistently produce and create a content calendar that you're gonna commit to for the next 12 months. But then what do you do on a monthly basis? So here's a very actionable, simple plan that you can start putting into motion for your firm. And that is to create either one really high quality blog or article that is going to uh, be keyword rich and help you rank uh, better in search engines or videos like the video I'm, sh I'm walking you through or a webinar. Um, or a podcast, and you need to do that once a month. So you don't need to create a ton of content, but that becomes the cornerstone of your marketing strategy. So one high quality piece of content, whether it's a written piece, a video, or a podcast, um, be producing that every single month. And then post at least once a week on social media. So that's only four, maybe five posts a month, right? And so that is manageable, but that way you're always consistent and, and people you know, know what to expect on your social media profiles. Um, you're designer, so you might be posting a lot more, but if you're not, start posting at least once a week. Um, and you can post across all of your social pro platforms. If you spend more time on Instagram and you enjoy that, that uh, platform, if you enjoy TikTok, then maybe start posting a little bit more or start spending a little bit more time creating content for those platforms. This is key. You need to be sending out at least one email newsletter per month. So as you're building a list of marketable contacts, of vendors, of um, re potential referral partners, you need to find a way to stay top of mind. Social media will allow you to do that. Videos and blogs will allow you to do that. But emails is still the best channel. It's one-on-one -on -one communication. Your open rates are anywhere from 15 to 30%, maybe even 40% if your list is very clean. Um, but you need to stay top of mind. and. The good news is because you're going to create a great piece of art, uh, content uh, as, a, as a blog or a video, you have something to say in the newsletter. Uh, and then you should be running some type of advertising, whether it's Google ads or Facebook ads, typo there, ignore that. Um, and then uh, you should be doing SEO, right? So that is all, um, that's your 12 month, that's, that's bugging me one second. Instagram, Facebook ads, there we go. Let's bring that presentation. And uh, like, as I'm doing this, you know, I'm, I'm actually not even gonna edit that piece out um, because it is just me talking to, well, whoever's watching this video, but 
you're uh, oftentimes when we're doing marketing, we're like, oh, we have to be perfect or we have to be, pub, uh, you know, polished. Uh, it's going to take longer to do all of that. But I just want to serve our clients, right? And so doing this real time, you get to see um, that's how humans interact anyway. When they jump on a Zoom call with you, you're uh, trying your best to do everything, you know, as professional, as polished as possible. But people are used to more natural interactions, right? Um, so anyway, I'm sort of justifying my little typo there. But uh, let's go move on to the last piece, which is SEO, right? So interior designer near me uh, is a good keyword. Interior designer, you know, uh, for kitchen remodel could be another keyword. You have to do some keyword research uh, to see how you can start ranking, whether it's creating videos for those specific keywords. Um, YouTube is the largest search engine, so uh, you need to have some, that's why I put up here, audit your SEO. So how are you ranking uh, on Google uh, and on all the search engines? Well, there's only Google uh, and Bing. Uh, but actually, even ChatGPT now is giving uh, people career, uh, people um, recommendations, and that that's a whole different world. But a lot of what it's going to do is still on the foundation of, you know, search engine optimization. So I hope you found this video helpful. My name is Hugo with Just Digital Inc. Um, we have put out a ton of resources on marketing, so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, jump on our newsletter. And if you'd like help marketing your interior design firm, reach out to us. We'd love to help. We can help you with websites. We can help you build out marketing campaigns, uh, ad campaigns, and a lot, a lot more.